Patrick Starr is hiding something, and no, I'm not talking about his hidden intelligence. I'm talking about something really serious, something that can ruin the life of Spongebob. Get ready for my latest theory. This is the Secret Box Theory. The episode Secret Box is one of the most iconic episodes of season 2. I mean it's an episode filled with entertainment and mysteries. Anyways, in this episode Spongebob asks Patrick if he wants to go jellyfishing and finds out about Patrick's secret box, and is so desperate to know what's inside that he went far enough to break into his house and steal the box. Patrick revealed at the end that the secret item in his box was an embarrassing snapshot of Spongebob at the Christmas party. What embarrassing snapshot of Spongebob at the Christmas party! But what he didn't reveal was the actual snapshot. A lot of Spongebob fans were disappointed and always curious as to what was in the actual photo. The uttermost information the show gave us was that the picture is an embarrassing snapshot of Spongebob at the Christmas party. Many people around the internet made fan arts of what they think could be it. Spongebob wearing a lampshade on his head. Spongebob tearing up. Spongebob ripping his pants. In 2002, Nickelodeon hosted a Merry Christmas short containing a lot of embarrassing photos of various characters in Nickelodeon. Among them all, we see Spongebob with ripped pants. Ooh, there were embarrassing photos. Many of you probably guessed that the ripped pants would most likely be the secret picture, but I believe it's not the case since there was an episode in season one called Ripped Pants, where Spongebob goes out and advertises that he ripped his pants. I guess I ripped my pants again! So this most likely wouldn't be the picture we are looking for. But let me ask all of you a question. What could be more embarrassing than ripping your pants? His nudes? Allow me to describe. At first I thought this theory was just getting ridiculous and I should just scrap it. But when I took a glance of Secret Box for the 17th time, I found a moment in the episode that I just couldn't ignore. If only you could see inside my Secret Box, it would change your life. Replay the clip. If only you could see inside my secret box, it would change your life. If only you could see inside my secret box, it would change your life. Patrick hinted to Spongebob that life would never be the same for him if he saw what was inside his secret box. A lot of you guys are thinking Nickelodeon would never hint something this dirty, but I'll ask you something right now. Why didn't Nickelodeon ever show us the photo either at the end of the episode or in the future episodes? Most likely because it's way too sensitive to show to younger audiences. I mean, imagine the amount of lawsuits filed on Nickelodeon for showing a PP to a bunch of little kids. They would never do that. But something itches my mind. Why does Patrick intend to keep the snapshot of Spongebob? Well, we know throughout the episodes, Patrick isn't really a good friend to Spongebob and is quite a jerk in general. He snitched on Spongebob for supposedly eating his chocolate bar, which Spongebob gave him in the first place. First the balloon, now my candy bar! I... I'm telling you. Yes. And even took advantage of Spongebob's kindness in the episode I'm with Stupid. Oh, what's on your mind? No, wait! I, I already know the answer. Nothing! <laughs> See, that's funny! Cause you're dumb! I think Patrick's intentions of keeping a snapshot is to blackmail Spongebob. This may be the key for getting himself anything he wants in life. We all know that Patrick doesn't have a job but still manages to have a home full of furniture, food, and a TV. Well, I theorize that all his stuff came from blackmailing. Not Spongebob, but someone else and Spongebob may be his next target. He even said in the same episode that the inner machinations of his mind are an enigma, stating that he is far more complicated than he seems. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Throughout this episode, Patrick constantly teases Spongebob multiple times for the satisfaction of Spongebob desperately wanting to know what's inside. I mean, he literally made it very obvious from the start of the episode. One of the later episodes in Spongebob seemed to be a sequel to The Secret Box, and it's called The Donut of Shame. Not only are the titles similar containing the word the in the beginning, but the episode seems like it's part one of The Secret Box. Now, The Donut probably has nothing to do with the episode, but everything else seems familiar. Patrick seems to be waking up from a hangover and finding Spongebob conscious on the couch. Spongebob and Patrick must have been drunk during the party before passing out. And I believe Spongebob was doing something really embarrassing to the point where Patrick found the perfect opportunity to capture it and keep it in his secret box. One last thing I would want to address. You know the string in the secret box that Patrick used to build a compartment with? 
Well, I can guarantee that this string is a hint to prove that the snapshot of SpongeBob is clothless. Nickelodeon released an episode not too long ago called The String. This seems like another episode telling us the truth about the secret box content. In this episode, SpongeBob has an urge to pull a loose thread off Squidward's t-shirt, which resulted in everyone losing their clothes. I have a feeling that the string in the secret box may have been the same string off SpongeBob's pants, and Patrick must have pulled the string, revealing SpongeBob undressed so he can use it to his advantage. There is my diagnosis for the secret box episode. Not really revealing, but explaining the embarrassing snapshot of Spongebob at the Christmas party. Join me on my next video where I analyze another wacky conspiracy. Till then, toodaloo!